JD Williams does a little bit of everything for the Wilson Coyotes, like sprinting, relays, and long jump. It's already been a record-setting season for the Williston senior, who hopes more history lies on the horizon. Williston senior J.D. Williams didn't pick up track and field until his sophomore year of high school. I wasn't a fan of track before then. I never really thought running for fun would ever be fun to me, but I just did it because it was my brother's last year. I just wanted to do a sport with him before it ended, and I ended up having success my sophomore year in long jump, took in fourth at state, and then just improved from there. I think the sky's the limit for that kid, being that he picked up track so late um, in high school even. I think I can't even tell you what his ceiling is going to be. I think he's just going to keep climbing and climbing every year he does it. His humble start in the sport has gone on to yield multiple school records in the 100 and 200 meter dashes with off-season work at the Williston Arc helping him prepare to break those barriers. Other schools, they have the run halls and stuff like that. So it's really good and privileged to have an indoor track for us to use. And then just really good coach, really good sprint workouts and stuff like that to help me really succeed for those times. I was really close last year, so just a little more work and then I knew I'd eventually come and get him this season. I'm just proud of him, very proud of him. That he sits here, he works his tail off, he busts his tail every day in practice, and he always pushes me to be better, and we always push each other to be better for one another, and he's a great teammate, he's a funny kid, he's just a great person to be around. I think uh, last year he got a little taste of what he could truly do as an athlete and track, um, and this year I can't speak enough to how much work that kid puts in on a daily basis. Um, just his, his drive to be great, his drive to, he told me right away this year, I'm breaking all the records I can. So um, just seeing him work through that and, you know, I'm the head coach, but he's the one that puts all, he's the one that puts all the work in and he deserves all of that. And that preparation goes beyond training at practice. He makes sure, you know, when he goes home, he's not just sitting on the couch, you know, he's, he's looking up videos on how to, how can I make my start, you know, a tenth faster, how can I, you know. He's looking at the competition of where he needs to be, and, you know, he just does all the right things that you want a kid to do. The attention to detail gave the senior sprinter different approaches in each of his record-setting times. 200, it was, I kind of had a different game, uh, game plan going into it. I was just going to run the first 60 cruise, and once I get to that straight, just take off. But in the 100, it's pretty much just a way of blocks. Make sure your blocks are right. Make sure you have your drive phase long enough and just run. Like, and then I just got it. And he hopes a third Williston High School record lies ahead in the long jump. The record right now is 22 10 and a half, I think it is, and I'm I, my PR is 22 7 this year. It's just I think what I need to do is just just keep working for real, just bring more speed down the runway and just get up off the board. Make sure I'm focusing on getting more up than out, and then I should be able to get it come WDA, come state. And if I don't, then hopefully Zay takes my spot and breaks that record for me, so at least someone on the team can take it. <laughs> I think he's got all the skills to do it. Um, I've only had him long jump two or three times this year. Um, I think a little more, uh, we get a little more consistent on the board, um, bring a little bit more speed. And his thing is he needs to get a little bit higher in the air, carry his speed. He's so fast. Um, I have no doubt in my mind that he'll get it. While track and field is largely an individual sport, he's proud to represent his school at the highest level. Most people just look at the Bismarck since they always succeed. So it's really good to be on a Williston team. That's all like everyone just looks down upon and come up and actually shock some people and have Williston just put on the map for real. Most people just see Bismarck's, the Fargo's, and they don't look at Williston at all. But we have really good, talented people on this team that make Williston go up on the map. I think it's it's kids like JD, kids like Isaiah, our leaders on the team. Um, they kind of bring everyone together. Um, I kind of help mold them together, but those guys help motivate just as much as I do. And I think they're... They're hungry to get placed as high as they can at WDA, as high as they can at state. They're rolling on. Um, they placed pretty good last year, and everyone's a year older. Everyone's a little bit stronger this year, and we'll, we'll see what we can do. Now, J.D. tells me he plans to run track at NDSU upon graduation, crediting that program's success and having family near Fargo to that decision.